Good afternoon, Oticon Online. My name is Mike G, and I'm the department head for Oticon's Hall Costume Contest. You know, one of my favorite parts about Oticon is all the cosplay we get to see over the course of the whole weekend, whether it's contestants in the contest, the masquerade, or just out and about in the convention center itself. I absolutely love how everyone shows off their creativity through their cosplay, and every year I get more and more inspired by different techniques and props and fabrics and ideas. I did want to take a moment and thank everyone who entered our contest this year. I know it was quite different than the usual and the general state of things. Might not have been the most conducive to creating cosplay, but I am very happy with the entries we did receive. And the rest of the Hall Costume Contest staff and I are very much looking forward to seeing more fantastic cosplays in person next year. Our three wonderful judges for this year are Cheeky Cosplay, Kiara Scuro, and Sky Pirate. There were some great cosplays and some difficult judging decisions as we seem to come across every year. Especially this year, considering everything was done via photos and videos and nothing was done in person. But I will let the judges announce their judges awards and then the winners in our beginner, intermediate, and advanced categories. And then one of our staff members, Rianne Royal, will announce the Staff Choice Award. Thank you. I am happy to give my judges award to this beautiful Merida cosplay. The costume fit the cosplayer so well, and I loved that she learned a new skill with her Cricut maker to do the details on the bottom. It's a really beautiful costume. My judges award goes to a costume that I thought was really ambitious. Uh, they used a lot of different techniques to make their build and uh, a lot of them were really difficult and their wig also just came out beautifully. I really uh, liked their approach to their construction and seeing the process of how they learned and figured things out and problem solved. Um, I love seeing that in cosplayers. So my judges award goes to Royal Mischief Maker as Jaina Proudmore from World of Warcraft. There was a ton of ambition and technique displayed in this costume, which is something that I love to see from the beginner's class. From flat felled seams to custom dyeing and sewing with sports knit fabrics, this costume was cleanly constructed and illustrates sewing finesse. Keep up with the great work. Hey, Oticon, it's Mike G again. Uh, my choice for the coordinator's award for Hall Costume Contest this year is sorta awkward cosplay as Link from Breath of the Wild. This cosplay resonated with me not only as a great costume, but also as a huge Legend of Zelda fan myself. I absolutely love Breath of the Wild and this cosplay of Link brought me right back into the game. Her prop work was fantastic, making the bow and the Sheikah slate from scratch. She also added lights to the slate for some more realism as well. It actually got to light up. Um, with regard to the costume itself, the applique detailing on the champion's tunic and the cape just looked fantastic. And the wig work and the ears gave her that distinct Hylian Link look. So again, my choice for the coordinator's award, sort of awkward cosplay as Link from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. A reimagining of Totoro, our staff award incorporated different scenes from my neighbor Totoro into the design, built her own hoop skirt, tailored patterns, and added a touch of delicacy with her acorn necklace, which bears special meaning. Making fully armored cosplays is no small feat, and this entry did a wonderful job not only proportioning the armor to fit their body, but also did a phenomenal job maintaining movement while in it. And check out that paint job! For the second place beginner award, this one goes to a costume that we thought had really good prop work. There was a lot of sanding and shaping and gessoing, uh, you know, techniques that you don't typically see in a novice um, that were executed very well. Uh, there was a lot of really good quilting going on, good fabric uh, material choices. Um, the wig on this costume was really lovely. It was, it was really well done. It looked amazing. Uh, so second place goes to Apollo Cosplay as Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. All of us judges absolutely agreed that this was our winner for this division. This costume blew us away 
It is beautifully constructed. We loved the corset work, the hand embroidered details, and how well everything was executed. It looks like she just stepped out of the art. It's truly beautiful. Many techniques were executed well with fabric choices that are great in weight and color accuracy. They made their own piping, installed French seams, and designed panniers and undergarments to match the costumes. Their craftsmanship and execution of skill is consistent throughout their work. Really lovely, gorgeous costumes. This costume showed a range of skills from sewing to prop making. Their use of techniques such as hand embroidery and trapunto stayed true to the character design and their use of textured and woven fabrics brought it into the real world. Great clean work. All of us judges were very impressed with this costume. The hand cut heat transfer vinyl was particularly inspiring. The thimbra work was clean and the fit of the costume was beautiful. Excellent job, you should be so proud. First place advanced goes to an entry that was constructed really well, not only in their costume, but also in their props. Their approach to this was not to just make a costume that visually represents the character, but to go the extra step and give it the weight and the build that an actual uniform would functionally have. Their sleeves were installed wonderfully despite working with a bulkier material and their cover stitching was really, really clean. Uh, their foam prop work was um, done really well and built really cleanly as well and their paint job on it uh, was really good. It really gave you that sense of wear and depth on it. Excellent choices, really good execution overall. So first place advanced goes to Trishy Cakes Cosplay as Captain Obi from Fire Force. Thank you, judges, for announcing all of our winners. You know, if this were a regular Oticon, I'd be up on the stage and I'd ask the crowd to give one more big round of applause for all the winners this year. So whether you're watching at home, at work, or somewhere on your phone, take a moment and applaud these fantastic cosplayers in the chat window or clap, whatever works, up to you. So again, thank you to Oticon for putting together this online event. And to all the cosplayers out there, whether you've entered this contest or not, keep doing what you love and what we love to see. I'm already looking forward to Otakon 2021, and I can't wait to see everyone back in D.C. next summer. Once again, I'm Mike G., and on behalf of the Hall Costume Contest staff, happy cosplaying.